Right, Miss Palmer here. Oh, I'm going to try to record this one the second time. Hopefully my battery doesn't die um, this time around. So before you go over this video, make sure you go over your notes on what linked lists are, okay? So um, I'm going to be talking about how to insert nodes into a linked list. And I'm going to be showing how I've started to basically implement a linked list class. I'm going to be using Java, but I'm going to be showing you some general algorithms that you should be able to then use in um, whatever kind of OO language that you're using, all right? Um, so this video is obviously about how I can insert items into a linked list. Just remember, I'm using a singly linked list. Once you've done the basic implementation using a singly linked list, you should be able to then turn it around and use, turn it into a doubly linked, uh, implement a doubly linked list as well. All right, so you can traverse the list in both directions. So remember the initial state when you start your list off is that um, there is no data in it, okay? There are no nodes, therefore the head and the tail pointers associated with your list are gonna be null. All right, here's my uh, um, my uh, start of my class for my linked list. So you can see I've got a constructor method down there right at the bottom where I've set my head as null. I should have in fact also set my tail as null as well. Um, in my main method, I'm just creating an object out of my constructor. And you can see at the top, I've got um, head and tail uh, pointers associated with my class, okay? They've been declared as global values. So, um, Remember, a list is made up of nodes, so I'm going to also need a list node class. If you're looking at your notes um, in various textbooks, you'll see that they will say, oh, you need to create a node type, okay? Um, it's a bit like when you're creating a record structure. They, if you, once you've declared your type, then you can create an array out of that type, and um, you have your list, therefore, implemented in an array structure. Because I'm using object and object oriented language, I'm just going to create a class called list node. I've got my two global data items in there. And then I can basically just create objects out of this class and point them at each other in essence. Okay. So I don't need to faff about with making an array. All right. Um, you can see this is the rest of my uh, list node class. I've just got a constructor to make life easy for me where I pass a data item into it that I'm going to store. And then I've just also got a getter and a setter in case I want to change that data or retrieve the data that's stored at that particular node. Okay, um, that's my list node class, quite straightforward. Now, uh, let's visualize inserting items into a linked list. So in the beginning, remember that the head and the tail pointers are null. So when I want to add data for the first time round, basically what I need to do is check if my list is empty. If it is, then I'm going to initialize a new node. All right, then I'm going to set the head pointer to the new node and the tail pointer to that new node as well. All right. So I now have got a head and a tail pointing at my new node. It's no longer null. Uh, what is this? Um, oh, sorry. Also remember that, uh, how do I know I'm at the end of the list? Well, actually the pointer on that node needs to be null because there is no further node for that pointer to point towards, right? So I'm, I'm talking about three pointers here. I've got a head pointer and a tail pointer. They're the pointers that are associated with my actual list itself. All right, so I know where to start from and where my list ends. And then each node itself, remember, has a pointer that points to the next node in the list. All right. Now, if I want to insert another item into the linked list, basically I need to initialize the next node. All right. I'm going to set a temp uh, variable to the tail. Okay. So I can then set the tail pointer to the new node. So my uh, tail pointer basically has disappeared. All right, my uh, tail pointer is now on my new node and the, but the pointer of my new node is null. So I know that this is gonna be the last node of the list. All right, then basically I can set the pointer of temp to the new node, all right? And that will basically shift the pointer from the head to the tail, okay? Uh, before we move on and I actually show you a bit more of that algorithm, okay? Or I'll show you my code in Java. Um, remember what I've got this whole kind of is empty function over here. All right. That's quite important because you need to find out actually whether that, um, the, the list is empty or not. Okay. Here's how you could have done that in Java. Uh, the kind of, um, long way of doing it is with an if else, or you can do it in a single line by just returning. If the head is now, uh, we'll give you a true or a false. Okay. Um, now, so that's my is empty. So basically in order to insert, um, a uh, bit of data, if it is empty, then head is going to be equal to a new node, all right, or a list node. Um, else, if it's not empty, that means there's data in there, temp is going to be equal to the tail pointer. 
the tail pointer is now equal to a new node and then temp.next is equal to the tail because remember previously there was an item at the end of the list and so we just stored that node temporarily in temp so we could move the tail to the new pointer then just copy that pointer from the old tail to the new tail all right now what happens if we want to insert an item halfway through the list all right well first of all i need to traverse my whole list to the point before the insertion point all right and i'm going to call that node current so i've moved out i want to insert something in position one remember zero is the first node one is the second node so i'm going to traverse my list to before the insertion point and i'm going to call that node before the insertion point current then current.next i'm going to copy to a temp variable again all right so i'm going to be able to keep that um, pointer basically as a reference so i can then use it later on now um, i'm going to now initialize my new next node so there it is all right the current.next can now be pointed to the new node all right because i've stored the old pointer in temp i can now use that temp all right to point it at the previous uh, node that was being pointed to if that makes sense okay and i've just basically inserted an item in the middle of the list remember the whole point of using a list is that i don't need to shuffle all those other data items that are going to come after the new node up and down um, an array okay i could just in stick my um, my new node wherever I want in memory and all I'm doing is just copying the pointers around to point them in the right place so what happens if I want that new node at the head well basically I'm gonna have to set the head a temp node as the head all right then point the head at a new node and then set the point the next point of the new head to the temporary node that I copied in the first place all right it's just like when you got two variables and you want to swap the value around you need a third variable this is exactly the same thing all we're doing though is we're just copying nodes and pointers instead of copying values all right so how would i do that if i want to insert an algorithm midway in the head i've got a slightly different insert function this time um, i've got two parameters i've got the data that i want to pass it wherever your list node was whether it was int strings whatever you were storing in it then also i'm passing in the position all right if the list is empty then basically I'm gonna set the head to a new node. That's just to handle the fact that if I have an empty list, if the position is zero, then obviously I'm gonna be inserting a new node at the head. So therefore I'm gonna set my head to a temporary node. I'm gonna set the head now to a new node and then my new head pointer can point at the old head, which I stored in temp, all right? And then finally, how am I gonna handle um, inserting something in another position somewhere else on the head in the list well i'm going to create a temporary node called current all right i'm going to traverse my list to the position before the one that i want to um uh insert the new node in so that's for i equal one to smaller than position all right um and each time i move along i'm just going to make current equals current or next so i'm just moving along that list okay uh then when i get there I'm going to set the temporary node to the current. I'm going to shift those pointers. I'm going to create a new node and point the um, the current nodes to the new node. And then finally, I'm going to get the pointer of the new node and point it at temp. So it's that the original pointer is now being copied to the new node that I've uh, inserted in. Okay. So you should be able to insert items into a linked list, literally. All right. If you have um, set uh, your list node next. Um, your next pointer as a list node in your list node class then you can just do that current dot next dot next thing in um, in an OO language and um, implement it straight over I'll be making a video um, in a couple of days where I'm going to show how you can do the same thing using an array okay so if you're using an, another language and you're doing it using arrays you should be able to watch that and figure out how to do it from there okay thank you very much